guys, today we're going to talk about why I use a naked GoPro and my go-to settings for run and gun style real estate fly throughs. This is what works for me personally and if you have better one take settings, please do share. First I'm going to show you what I use. Here is my trusty workhorse, a Cinelog 25 V1. If you want to know what modifications I did to it and also how to tune it for interior work, check out the links in the description below. And check out this sneak peek of my own Cinewoop design, the P3C Spider. It's a special one. And so far during my testing, it's been looking very promising. I'll disclose more about its special features in the coming months soon. First thing I'm going to say is, if you're going to do professional work, get a naked GoPro action camera for the best results. The hyper smooth is like pretty solid. Then you add another pass with real steady software that you need to pay for. It eliminates some of those up and down bobbing. It will also make you look like a really smooth operator. It just works. It never let me down once unless you fly like shit then yeah, maybe, but you gotta fly at least like decent, right? The number one thing is to practice your flying. If you can afford it, go for the naked GoPro 11 or 12. Screenshot this now. I'm going to walk you through my current daytime settings. I typically fly indoor to outdoor in one take. So I find these settings to be optimal for me. So if you have a GP10, what I recommend is a 4K60 4x3 aspect ratio. But if you're lucky enough to own the GP11 or 12, use the 4K60 8x7 aspect ratio. Lens, wide angle. This is the widest you can get without looking like a distorted fisheye lens. Unless that's what your client wants. Hyper smooth on. Using the minimal amount of hyper smooth will still be beneficial to your initial footage. Then putting another pass in real steady, it's going to change your game. Bit rate, high. This is the best quality setting, so use it. Shutter speed, auto. Lighting conditions in a quick run and gun interior fly through is not controlled. So especially when you fly from sunny conditions into a dark room during a true one take, you need to trust the camera to control the shutter. EV, negative 0.5. Settings at zero EV could become overexposed for a moment and may get a loss of detail in the highlights. It's best to underexpose just a little bit so you can still correct and brighten whatever you need in post without too much increase in the color noise. ISO. I set my range from 100 to 800. You may also try 100 to 400 if you worry about noise in dark rooms. Your shutter speed will become slower, blurring your footage if you have a bad build or tune. White balance. I use auto. Most run and gun interiors have mixed lighting, especially flying indoor to outdoor into bathrooms in one true take. The GoPro will do a good enough job. I mean, sometimes scenes may get a little yellow looking, but you can deal with those in post by animating the color of your footage. Now, let's just say you're a cinematic junkie and you definitely don't want to touch auto settings. Well, I have a few ideas for you. Change all the bulbs in the house with the same temperature as the exterior. And then you can lock in your white balance. If you can change them to the same brightness as exterior, you can lock in your shutter speed. I've never done that before and I just don't charge enough money to do that. Maybe I should try though. Sharpness. Medium. I don't use high because the sharpness is baked in and you can't go backwards. Using medium still looks natural and at least you can still up your sharpness in post if necessary and still looks great. Color. Flat or GP log in GoPro 12. This allows the most flexibility for you to add a LUT or color grade to your footage. If you don't use this setting, the GoPro's standard vibrant colors are baked into the footage, making it a bit harder for you to add your creative expression. Anti-flicker. I would use a 60 hertz setting for North America and what I've read was for the rest of the world. 50 hertz reduces the flickering of different light sources and frequencies that can cause havoc to your footage. Now I'm not sure if this affects all the naked GoPros but for mine whenever there was a bright light source behind a naked camera such as the sun or mixed lighting, dark bands and sometimes light bands would ruin the footage. My buddy Kibby he created a custom cover for my Flywoo case to block any potential stray light from leaking into the back of the sensor. It helped and the problem was resolved. Download the cover in the description below. And that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put all the affiliate links to all the key products I recommend in the description below. If you purchase from those links, I get a bit of a small commission and it helps motivate me to make more of these videos to help you guys out. Give it a try, leave some comments or feedback, press like and subscribe and check out my new company, protofpv.com. See you on the next one.